What's up everyone, this is Squigs, and welcome back to Mega Maker Showcaser, a series where we play through viewer-submitted Mega Man Maker levels. Today we have Bombs Bombs Away by Retro Stew. 17 plays and a score of 6. This was told to me it would be a... Uh, let's see, focus on challenge evolving time bombs. The idea is each screen is a different challenge which gradually gets more difficult. It's still new and needs a lot of work, so this is like an in-progress level we'll be testing out. Um, which is interesting. I like to do that too, by the way. Those of you that watch, um, Squiggy's ROM Hack ROM know I love taking in ROM hacks that aren't finished yet so I can give my, uh, feedback on them. And, uh, I think sometimes it really helps to see someone play your level to see what goes well and what doesn't. Because a lot of the time, it's hard to tell from your point of view whether or not you've made something too hard, too easy, because you play it like a hundred times, you know exactly what's coming up everywhere, you know what you need to do, and um, it makes it hard to play test your own stuff. So I am always here to play test your levels, if that's what you would like, um, either through um, this series or others. I actually, I do pretty much all viewer submitted content, so if you have something you want to see played, you just let me know down in the description. And so far we have like an escalating series of challenges. Never slide through levels, folks. That is a habit I need to break. So I like how this one's designed, where you have like a door you have to like kind of wait for as these things keep spawning. It's not too bad, because it's um, a series of slightly escalating challenges, but um, the concept is really cool. I like that. Now we're inside. I need to not slide between level transitions. This one's actually tricky. This one's the first one that it made me pretty nervous going into it. And again, we got like the kind of waiting, waiting gate kind of thing. Oh, taking some damage. We got to be careful there because we're not getting any checkpoints, um, which is fine because the level's not that hard. But it's something to be wary of when it comes to like we can't be just losing life for no reason. Um, all right, let's go. There we go. Should have plenty of time there. Another cool concept. This time we got the tellies coming in from behind. Tricky to hit. Oh, you can hit him from above when you slide. That's kind of cool. Bit of him. Little staircase. Very cool level. I like the theme. I like when people have like a clear, defined theme in their level. Um, I'm definitely going to go for the E-Tag. If you give me a challenge in this series, I probably will go for it most of the time. Unless it's been a long time without a checkpoint and I'm not confident that I can do it. I like to try to do all the optional stuff if I can. Um, so yeah, we'll see more of that as the series goes on. Uh, as that comes up. Okay. Lots of numbers. We're just going to not worry about the individual numbers and just think we got to go fast. That's basically what we're going for here. Oh, we can, we can almost jump over it. Um, but we cannot. Let's see. You can slide under spikes in this game. God damn it. I can't believe I died on the last level. I guess you can slide under spikes as long as you don't move into them. But uh, we'll be back right in a moment. Talk more about that. Alright, I believe we are back to the final challenge here. Nope, we got one more to go, and then we'll be back. So I gotta say, I really like this level. Um, it's got a solid theme, it sticks to it, it's not afraid to be on theme the whole time. And I think levels like that really stand out. Um, they're some of my favorites anyways. Ah, that's a really tight turnaround there. But um, it's not undoable. You just have to push yourself all the way against the wall and then just one little click of the left stick to turn around there. So Bombs Bombs Away by Retro Stew, another great level. Oh my god, I'm so blessed on this series. Everything's been so good so far. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed playing that. Thank you so much for sending it in, Retro Stew. If anyone else out there has a level they'd like to see played, maybe one you made or one you'd just like to see played, please let me know down in the description with the level ID and the name as well, please, if you don't mind. Uh, if you just leave me a level ID, I'll play it, but I'd like to know that I'm doing the level that you want me to do at the same time. You never know when you're going to fat finger a button, folks. We've all been there. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mega Maker Showcaser. We'll be back soon with another one, and hopefully I'll see you all there. Have a wonderful afternoon.